Well, hello again viewers. Let's start a wee video in one of the most scenic places in Escanar. It's a wee bit windy, it's still about 25 degrees, absolutely beautiful. I've just met some lovely viewers from Chester and Roxy's cocktail bar across there. <laughs> and some of the customers gave me a wee sing song, you'll see that video on the channel at some point. So lovely meeting you guys. But let's take a wee walk round and I'll show you how expensive Escanar is. I was speaking to the guys there and they're obviously used to going to Benidorm, get really cheap drink prices etc. It is a wee bit more expensive here but I think it's, it's pretty affordable for Ibiza standards, I think, without a doubt. We're going to check out some of the menu prices up here. There's a wee affordable hostel just down the road there. So we'll check out some of the menu prices, you can let me know what you think. But for Ibiza, I think this place is very affordable. The guys, what the guys were saying, it's not as cheap as Benidorm or Tenerife, but nowhere in Ibiza it is, to be honest with you. It is definitely a different price level. But I think it's very affordable here. There's a wee message here to Prince Albert. Everywhere's struggling for staff a wee bit, but places I've been in so far, to be fair, the service has been pretty good. They've got 99 gins here, eh, at the Prince Albert. How good's that? Draft beer, all sorts going on there. Albert and Vicky, you watching? Give me a wee comment. So that's the Prince Albert, number one restaurant in gin bar. So if you like your gins, that's the place to go. I don't know what the prices are, I'm afraid there's no menus by the looks of it. And they've got the best fish and chips in Ibiza as well. I've got a wee menu here, I think, but I've done it with my glasses on. Okay, so... Looks pretty affordable to me. Burgers. 13, 12 euros, etc. Yeah. We've got a children's menu as well. 7 euros 50. Desserts, 4 euros 50. So, not too bad. Uh, I've heard the fish and chips is quite nice in there. Let me know if anybody's been in. Let's take a wee walk around the corner. There's a wee Chinese here, we'll we check this out, yours. We're going to go right down to the promenade and the beach. Okay, special menu here. Now this looks unbelievable value for money. One starter, main courses, a drink as well, 11 95s Seems too good to be true. I passed this cellar on a couple of hours ago, it was random, it was like half two in the afternoon and it was really really busy. All these tables down here, a lot of them are actually uh, full. I couldn't, I've never seen a Chinese busy at that time in the afternoon. Nice wee um, view down there, mind you. So, let's cross over. So the Chinese has got some good deals, hasn't it? We've got a wee healthy food place over there as well. It's not open yet, but it's open later on. Quite windy. Might have to edit the video, we'll see. I'll try my best and avoid the wind. The place over here doing tapas, let's go and check it out, the prices. The Jacaranda Lounge, I, I, think, I don't think it's open just now, it's something later on. I can tell you that's one of the more expensive places for drinks. But, to be fair, um, sometimes you've got entertainment on at the pool. There's the pool there. Entertainment is on just at the front there. And then you can also be sitting right out overlooking the sea, just in the corner. So you're paying for the view. It's quite a nice place to do weddings and stuff like that as well. I've done a few videos passing by letting you know about it. That's not open just now, so let's check the other place across here. Mentioned in a few videos, this place used to be jam-packed at night. They used to have half hour and a quiz. You struggled to get a seat, it was busy every night. It's changed hands now, so it's a wee bit different. They do tapas and other things. Let me quickly show you. They're not up until evening. Pina Colada's six euros fifty. A wee menu here as well. To be fair, hamburgers pretty affordable, eight euros fifty. They've got tapas from three euros fifty as well. So I think this is a very affordable place. 
but it only opens at certain times. They've got accommodation above here as well. Quite a few wee clothes shops in Eskina. As if they're independent ones as well. There's some round the corner, it's quite strange because they literally pack up their whole shop in a van and at night they empty the whole shop. This one obviously is inside, so it's not gonna they're not gonna do that. The other one's totally different. So that's the Jack and Ander lounge, as I said on the right hand side. I think it's just open actually. It's busy down here. I've got to say. There's a wee burger place open late at night here, that's very affordable, I've been in there a few times. Um, very affordable to say the least. So that's the Jackie Randa Lounge over in the corner there. Got some music on so I can't go over there and show you the menu I'm afraid, but I'll show you some restaurants around the side here. You can see it's quite busy, because basically look at the views. If you're just sitting there having a beer or having some food, looking out to see, it's beautiful. So that's the Jackie Randa Lounge. Let's check out a few restaurants here. These won't get busy a little later on because this is getting filmed about half past four in the afternoon. But I'll give you an idea anyway, the, the prices. So here we've got tapas. We've also got dishes of the day. Lasagna, burger and chips, spaghetti, pasta one as well. We've got mojitos. From four to seven, five euros. We've also got cocktail hour, different deals on as well. Spanish omelette, five twenty-five. So I'm assuming that these dishes are a wee bit bigger than tapas. Still seems all pretty affordable to me, and I've heard this place is really nice. Las Arenas. Quite a lot of people I've seen on Facebook um, saying it's nice. They also do a lot of fish dishes as well, why not, you're right next to the sea, a lot of nice fresh dishes there as well. So, good variety on that menu for sure. Squid, prawns, paella, albade. So this one here, restaurant Miranda, we've got the menu down here. So they've got tapas, but as you can see, it's probably a bigger portion of tapas. It's not small top tapas, bigger portions. But they've got all the kind of famous ones that you'd expect. If you can see that, viewers. Pizza's from nine euros seventy. It's not too bad, is it? Starters: prawns and garlic sauce, fifteen fifty. Children's menu from six fifty. Spaghetti bolognese, tuna salad, eleven forty. A fillet steak, twenty-five ninety, which to be fair, in a nice restaurant, you'd expect that kind of price. And a lot of different fish dishes. But here, this is interesting at the end here. We've got the three course menu of the day. Thirteen euros ninety. From twelve to six, I think. So you want to go in before six? I should go in there just now. So look at the starters: homemade soup, chicken wings, garlic mushrooms, and then the main course. You've got half roast chicken, cod fillet chicken breast not too bad and then you get a wee dessert so that is a pretty good value for money and that's another place I've heard is nice as well so hello <laughs> any of these restaurants that are sitting in here you're basically looking out to see fantastic this is part of the Allure Sol Ibiza Hotel, this restaurant. I don't know if the general public can just rock in here, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not 100% sure about that. I mean, I'll try and walk in and show you the pool and stuff, but <laughs> I don't know if you can actually walk in. That's the rooms you want if you're staying in that hotel. Look at them, overlooking the sea, brilliant. Beach over there. So there's the hotel I'm talking about, entrance right there. Let's go up to one of the most popular restaurants. The Marvent next to Charlie's Bar. They're owned by the same company. Again, check out the views. Pity the cars are parked there, get a bit of view if they weren't parked there. But a good wee spot. If you get any mobility issues, you get a wee parking space right there. You can walk just across the road. 
can take that on later tonight. Done a few videos showing you that. Hello. I'm alive. Alright. <laughs> so that's bar vent there. Next to Charlie's bar. Charlie's bar will open later on. Good entertainment on late at night as well. And that's Marvent Cafe and Restaurant, one of the most popular bars and restaurants in this area. Let's even get a wee look at the menu. We've got a vegan menu here as well. Toasties. Last time I was here, I had quite a nice curry in here. Let's see if we've still got it on the menu. Look at the pizzas, eight euros. Food in here is decent and it's very affordable. I've been in here quite a lot of times. Classic burger, nine euros and chips. I'm trying to see if we've got that um, curry. I'm not sure. I wonder chicken dishes. It's probably there somewhere. But anyway, I hope you're having a wee look at the menu. Um, Marvin is quite a nice restaurant, and look at the views. Can't complain. The wee bakery next door as well, and you also specialise your ice creams. If you want just a wee takeaway ice cream, then I always get a wee mint chocolate chip one from this place over here, restaurant Escana. And look at the views you've got if you're having a meal here. Pretty nice, eh? Having a wee meal here, it's not too bad, is it, yours? So, I hope you've enjoyed just a wee tour around Escana. Showing you some of the prices, how affordable it is. I think for Ibiza, this place is very, very affordable. Ibiza is one of the most expensive places that I do these videos in, in general. And I think Escanar is one of the most affordable places in Ibiza. Great value for money. Sit here, have a wee glass of wine and a beer, it's very affordable. You're overlooking the sea, your nice surroundings. It's just a nice vibe. You're right next to the beach here as well, as you can see. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Don't forget, give it a wee subscribe, it's absolutely free. We'll see you in the next one. It's goodbye from beautiful Escanar.